a very good of morning to all my dear students this is the sixth family today we are going to study that family is the comelinesi i welcome all students to this lecture today we are studying the family comelinesi the sanjus sanjus permic family we are studying it as per the bentham manuka system of classification i am dr rajendra shewde hod department of botany arts commerce and science college santa ratnagri so let's start with the video of studying the family comelinesi the family which we are studying today is is the monocot family so systematic position here for this family is different that of the families we have studied earlier so here bentamunukar has made certain changes that they have considered only series for the systematic position of monocot family that means division subdivision class is there but there is no subclass series is there but no order or cohort is there so <coughs> start with let's start with the systematic position of course division is spermatophyta seed bearing plant as the plants bear the seeds subdivision is angiospermy because seeds are will uh, enclose within the ovary then comes the class that is the monocotyledon only here the class is different why the monocot because monocotyledon because seeds with a single cotyledon the seed seed shows only one cotyledon leaf shows the parallel venation then the root system is adventitious in case of the dicot it is taproot system but in case of the monocots the root system is adventitious then symmetry of the flower is trimerous that means if the tepals are present they will be present in 3 plus 3 form or maybe 6 so this symmetry is called a trimerous symmetry of the flower then comes the series there is no subclass the series is coronary bentham anukar considered this member of family in series coronary because ovary is superior and perianth is biseriate perianth is the structure which is nothing but the union of calyx and corolla or in simple way we can say that calyx and corolla cannot be differentiated so that structure is called as perianth this perianth is always present in two series in comelinesi family then the differentiation of two words in is in a such a way that that outer one is sepaloid whereas the inner one is petaloid so in case of this coronary series the perianth is biseriate outermost is sepaloid and the inner whorl is petaloid and the next character is seeds are albuminous that means the seeds do contain albumin which is nothing but a chemical compound which is sticky in nature then family comelinesi so this is the systematic position of the family comelinesi let's go through the uh, general characters <coughs> in general characters habits these plants are annual or perennial herbs with more or less succulent and jointed stem most of these plants are annual whereas some are perennial but their major character is herbs they are not shrubby or trees so they shows the presence of a succulent type of uh, jointed 
stem. So, that is one of the best uh, main character of the habit. Then leaves are simple, they are alternate, then they are entire, that means their margin is entire, date, margin is not serrate or dentate. Then the shape of the uh, leaves are ovate or lanceolate or linear. Then the leaf shows venation as parallel venation. Then uh, usually with a closed basal membrane sheath. So, in case of this at the node, there is a presence of a sheath at the base of every leaf. Then inflorescence, it has a very a various uh, actually very uh, special character of uh, inflorescence that it has a monocacial cyme or sometimes it is paniculate, but the arrangement of this flowers or the inflorescence is occur in a leaf like path like boat shape bract is there. So, while we are going to study the extra morphology, we will see the pictures of that bract, we can easily understand what is the exactly path like uh, bract which is actually showing a boat like shape. So, this is a peculiar character of this family inflorescence. Then comes the flower, here flowers are complete, then they are regular, then zygomorphic. In case of um, some plants it is actinomorphic, but here uh, it is zygomorphic. Bisexual, both androsium and ganesium are present. Then symmetry is trimerous and at the ovary is superior, the flower is hypergonous. So, let us go through the uh, members of the uh, flower. Here calyx and corolla are not depreciated, but they are united to form a structure called as perianth. And the name member of the perianth is named as tepals. Tepals means the half part has been taken from the petals and half, half part has been taken from the sepals. The union of those two words is tepals. Now, here perianth has the members tepals with number is the 6. The 6 tepals are arranged in two balls, 3 of each. Outer wall is distinctly sepaloid means it is green color or sometimes it is colorless and the inner one is petaloid and they are blue in color. The estivation of the perianth is imbricate. Then comes the androsium. Androsium stamens, six stamens are present. They are arranged in two alternate trimerous whorls opposite the perianth. Now, in case of the commonly family, it could be possible or it is uh, uh, they are having three fertile or six fertile or only two fertile stamens and filaments are bearded with monoliform brightly colored hairs. So, monoliform type of brightly colored hairs are present on the filaments, that is why the filaments are called as bearded and the anthers are basifics that attachment of the filament to the anthers is basifics and they are bicolor, bilocular. That means, the anther shows two locules. So, this is about the androsium. Let us go through the ganesium. Ganesium member is carpel, number is 3. Ovary is united, so called as thin carpus. Superior ovary, ovules on axial placentation. Style is 1 and stigma is capita. So, this is about ganesium, then fruit, this is also a peculiar character of family commonality that fruit is loculicidal capsule or nut. That means, capsule is a type or nut type of fruit is there, but it shows the locule 
locally settled or locus like structure. So, that is why this fruit is a particular character of this family. So, we can go to the floral formula now. Here, the floral formula is at the path or boat, boat like bract is present. So, it is bracteate. It is actinomorphic, that symbol is there, or sometimes it is zygomorphic. Zygomorphic symbol is also there. Bisexual, then P, P stands for perianth. It is arranged in two balls, three of each, so three plus three. Then androsium, that is three plus three if they are present in two, or if they are not uh, united, then it is terminode. If they are present, then 3. Then Ganesium, carpels 2 and it is over each thin carpus and superior. So, this is the floral formula of family Commelinaceae. Let us go through the pictures. Here we can have some pictures of flowers, then uh, the diagrammatic presentation of the family members. We can see here the flower of uh, Comelina bengalensis, which is a brightly blue colored flower, which is common in India. It grows and grows in rainy season throughout India. Then we can see this is the flower of Comelina nudiflora, common weed present uh, near, grow nearby the roads, along the side of the roads. Then this is the very beautiful pink color flower of Tardescantia discolor. This is also grown, this plant is grown in garden as an ornamental plant. So, here are the diagrammatic presentation. Now we can see these various diagrams are arranged from 1 to 14. So, let us see what are the exactly structures are there. Here we can see this is the habit showing that there is a branching with adventitious type of roots. Leaves are arranged alternatively, that means one at each node with shipping leaf base, which is closed one. So, next this is nothing but inflorescence. Here we can clearly see a boat like or spath like bract. This is the peculiar character of this family. Then comes the bird. The bird of the family or the member of the plant. Then comes the flower, it is completely open flower number 4. Then comes the flower, you can see two petals clearly. Now here we can see these are the sepals. The dissected flower shows two sepals. So uh, these are the structure of the sepals. Then this is the petals which are colored, one is larger, the other one is smaller. So, these are the petals. Then stamen, 9, 10 and 11, these numbers are the stamen. And lastly, the ovary. Here the fruit is there, which is called as a loculicidal nut or capsule. So, this is the diagrammatic presentation of the family. Okay, Let us go through the plants of economic importance. These plants are growing throughout the world, mostly tropical areas, subtropical areas, semi evergreen areas, some deciduous forests also. It has a variety of plants growing throughout the uh, rainy season. Some are perennials, they can be grown in gardens. The first plant is Comelina bengalensis. It is a commonly growing plant found in the rainy season. Grows along side of road. And uh, the extract from this plant is used in leprosy and leucoderma. So, uh, this plant has a medicinal uh, properties. In certain areas of India, this plant has been consumed as a vegetable also. The, the young leaves or fresh leaves of this plant are used as, as vegetables. 
Next plant is a Commelina nudiflora. This is also a common plant growing in the rainy season. The extract of the plant is used in relieving pain and in burns and boils. So this plant also has a medicinal use. Next plant is Royo discolor. This Royo discolor is a ornamental plant which is grown in the garden. Then Commelina oblica. This is another plant of the family. The roots of this plant is used as antidote to snake poison. This is a travel medicine and commonly used for the antidote of snake poison. Then next plant that is Floscopa scandens. This plant is also the medicinal use that same juice is put in a sore eyes. So this is about the uh, plant of economic importance. Then last that is very important and very common that is Stratoscantia discolor. These uh, plants are grown in the garden for its beautiful uh, bright purple color flowers and uh, pink color flowers and violet color leaves. It is grown as ornamental plant. So this is about the plants of economic importance of family Commelinaceae. With this we end the study of family Commelinaceae. I request all students to please go through the video, study it well and if you have any questions or queries please SMS me or WhatsApp me. Thanks for listening to video. Thank you so much.